Hi, welcome to Muzzle First. So I promised you an update on my AR pistol, and here it is. This is uh, pretty much the completed project. I got one more thing I might change on it, but um, it's pretty much done. I'm going to take it to the range this weekend and shoot it and see if I like it. If I don't like something, I'm going to uh, switch it out. But uh, let's take a look at it here real quick, and I'll show you what all I have in it. The uh, lower receiver is made by Anderson. Um, I bought that from uh, Palmetto State Armory as a scratch and dent. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I've had it for probably a year um, as I was gathering parts for an AR pistol build. Um, Alright, that's what she looks like. The um, parts kit in the internal is from Palmetto. Uh, the bolt and uh, bolt carrier is from Palmetto. Um, the upper receiver is also from Palmetto. That is their 7-inch um, barreled Marauder upper. Um, they had these on sale for $1.99 shipped, and uh, I jumped on it. Um, the can on there is theirs. I don't know much about it, other than the fact that it's uh, Palmetto's. And, of course, that's a MOE handguard on the front. Um, the last... Oh, sorry. Skipping ahead of myself here. Um, I did have to buy a charging handle. I did not have a charging handle. Um, let's see if you read the name on there or not. It's BCM. That's what my local gun shop had. Uh, I don't have another BCM to compare it to, but I um, hear they make good stuff. Um, let's see. The uh, buffer tube assembly. I am not 100% positive what this is. I think this is made by CMMG. It is the uh, type without the keyed um, end plate. So, I think it's CMMG, but don't quote me on that. I'm not even positive where I got it. I think I got it with one of my Palmetto, Palmetto orders, but I am not sure about that. All right. And what else? What else am I missing? Um, the magazine in here, I just put it in there because it helps it to stand up straight. Uh, what else am I missing on there? All right. The optic I chose for this is the uh, Primary Arms Advanced Micro Dot. I like these. They're simple. They're effective. They work. Um, durable. And um, they're fairly inexpensive. They're under 200 bucks, about 170 bucks, something like that. If you've got Amazon Prime, they ship it to you for free. You can't beat that. The um, only thing that I'm not positive about, when I first was thinking about doing this, I didn't think I actually wanted... Um, I didn't think I actually wanted a... Uh, um, to elevate the uh, red dot at all. I thought I wanted it close to the receiver, but after getting and looking at it, I might actually um, I might actually elevate that a little bit. It makes it a little hard to see down that low, so I might elevate it. I'm gonna go shoot it first and I'll find out. That's the one thing that I might change. Um, other than that, as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty much done. That's uh, that's what she looks like. I'll have a range video for you this weekend. And uh, let me know what you think. Like it, hate it, whatever. Anything you'd like to change on it, anything you think I should change on it, let me know. Um, also, what I would like you, I would like to see your AR pistols. Um, if you've got a video on your AR, AR pistols, uh, post a link. Post a link in this video and uh, I'll go check it out. Um, I'd like to see what everyone else has done. I've seen a couple of uh, people's videos with their AR pistols, but uh, I know every I know a lot of people have them. They're they're pretty common. So let me know what you got. Uh, post a link to yours, and I'll go check it out. This has been Muzzle First. Um, you can send me an email at muzzlefirst at gmail.com or you can uh, visit my website www.muzzlefirst.com. There's always a uh, space below the video on YouTube where you can leave your comments. Um, all comments are welcome. Thank you, and you have a good day.